Dear all, it is a real pleasure to join this virtual launch of the Spotlight Initiative in Belize. We hope all of you are taking good care and keeping safe in this time of uncertainty. We in the United Nations are very committed to supporting Belize's efforts to eliminate family and gender-based violence, as well as an advance on gender equality, especially at this moment, to make women and girls safe. It is a joint responsibility to make sure that we support constructive relationships among members of family while we continue providing women and children safe places if they find themselves confronted by violent situations. The support we are providing jointly with the European Union highlights leaving no one behind, especially when it comes to eliminating violence against women and children in all development efforts. Unfortunately, family violence, gender-based violence against women and children affect all groups in society. Some groups have more difficulties accessing information or services, and that is why we should do our utmost to reach women and girls in specific groups, such as migrants, asylum seekers, persons living with disabilities, or those belonging to indigenous people groups. To make sure this is addressed and recognizes the role of women's movement and human rights, having demanding violence is properly addressed from state and non-state actors. We are pursuing a strategic engagement with civil society organizations in the design, implementation, and monitoring of the program. We are very pleased to present today the National Civil Society Reference Group with nine experienced members representing a variety of sectors, including the LGBTQ population, indigenous people, sex workers, and youth, in addition to women and girls. Through the program, we will support the development of policies and legislation, develop the capacity to deliver legal services to end impunity, and support community programs to change social norms that justify unacceptable behaviors. The Ministry of Human Development, the National Women Commission, the National Commission of Family and Children, among other national institutions, will be supported in all their efforts to fulfill Belize's responsibilities towards women and children. The program will also build alliances with the private sector and other non-state actors, as they are an important part of the change. Zero tolerance to gender-based violence in the workplace will only be possible with the strong commitment of leaders, men and women, to start making changes in every environment where women and men can establish equal relationships. Faith-based organizations are also important actors to amplify the messages and make sure the communities are changing social norms to make violence and families unacceptable. The Spotlight Initiative is an example of a strategic partnership with the European Union to continue enabling the collective response by the UN system. Working together is allowing us to cover existing gaps, ensure productive intersections, and identify new opportunities for delivering results more effectively and efficiently. The three recipient and UN entities, UNICEF, UNDP, and UNFPA, ensure a coherent response to gender-based violence and family violence, joining their strengths and complementing capacities. They will also collaborate with other entities in the UN, such as UN Women, PAHO, WHO, ILO, UNHCR, and OHCHR, to ensure different access areas are included. I want to express our recognition of all the efforts each agency is adding to this joint program and the staff who are committed to making gender equality at the heart of the UN programs. Women empowerment, children's rights, equal rights for LGBTQ must be central to all development efforts. I would like to end my intervention today by inviting others to join in this crucial partnership to end family violence. We all need to commit to ending violence at home, which particularly affects women and children, harming the whole society. In these times of pandemic, we all need to commit to active engagement 
and we all need to continue delivering on the sustainable development goals. Many thanks. <laughs>